Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 483. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we have some news for you this week. So let's not dilly dally and hop right into it. First news is new Cutie Marks spotted next to main 5 cast, uh, sorry, main G5 cast in MLB magazine. Alright, let's see what it says. We might have a completely new pony joining the main cast of the G5 movie in the future if this mysterious page in the My Little Pony magazine is any indication. Joining the main six will... Uh, sorry, uh, joining the six... Uh, the six mark we already know about is a heart with horseshoe on it. Next to easy uh, next to easy on the top right of that picture up there. Uh, this was spotted by Twitter username. Uh, we still have no oh, sorry, uh, we still have a long way to go until we get to G five uh, new G five content. So who knows what has wrote has in the works. Here's hoping if it is a new pony that she or he. Is just as interesting as the other five. Note, apparently, another page in the book says the cutie mark is for you, the reader. Probably false alarm. Hmm. Yes. Uh. Let's take a look. See at the marks. Okay. So, uh, this is easy. Um. Pip. Uh. Was it zip? Zip pip. I'm bad with the new names. But yeah, uh, this one here is kind of new. And also, we got no idea if this is just a um, placeholder for us, the fans. Uh, like it says here, um, it's for the readers, yes. But uh, let's take a look see at the design for a bit. I mean, it is an interesting design. Um, it looks pretty simple, that that simple, but when you take a look, see at um, uh, Sunny's, her cutie mark seems pretty simple too, and so on. Or is it Sunny? I forgot. Hitch, yes, now I remember. Hitch looks simple too, and so on. Um, there's the hole to hearts down below with the shield and the horseshoe, while over here has the crown. But uh, there's one thing that. I noticed just now, and it has to be a trend with um, ponies, or yeah, ponies in general. Because what I do notice is that most of the cutie marks, most of them, by the way, not all, have at least three colors in them. Um, like this one here, you got a blue, a lighter shade of blue, a pur pink or purple, and a darker purple. So. That says that's more than um, three. But in general, there's always three. See, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, over here, if you're not counting the shield, it's still yellow, but still you have uh, green here, a green here, and green here. I mean, uh, probably there's what? A one, two, three, four, five, four, four colors probably. This one here is one, two, three, four. Still the same thing. So um, this only has. Two, not including the shadow. If you want to include the shadow, probably three, but who is really counting that? And yeah, if you take a look, see at some of the older ponies. Um, I wonder if EQD here has. Okay, um, let's take the QD Mark Crusaders. Uh, they have three, four, and five at least. So that's something of a pattern I noticed. I could be rambling, but eh. This this cutie mark here is too simple, so it could be that is nothing, or it could be a well a new character. But I do hope it's a new character because it will be very interesting to see how it plays out. Sometimes cutie mark in the newer generation, I hmm, I'm wondering like. Do the cute marks really matter in the newer generation? Because, ah, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, it does. It does. It it follows the same pattern where. Uh, what this says is see was it? Uh, do do give it a second. I'm trying to look for the article where I just read something. Yes, easy. Sorry, okay. Um, easy top there. She's a creative typhony, so yeah, it does. Uh, make sense. Um, easy. Uh, easy, and then what? Zip, zip. Um, she's kind of a cool character, so the lightning bolt kind of thing does work for her. And Pip with her musical talent, yeah, it, it does work for her. Yeah, the whole cutie mark and personality thing does work. I wonder what this is. <clears throat> but if it's a fan kind of thing, like heart, meaning I love something like love and then horseshoe could be horse or ponies so if i know i'm looking deep into something that might be nothing but this is how um theory crafting works yeah i mean if symbolism is saying that you love ponies that's it i guess that's the closest thing i can imagine so anyway let's move on to the next topic Next topic is Symbiote Studio Rainbow Dash is now sorry now in stock on Amazon. I think uh, for all of you out there looking to pick up a new Symbiote Studio Plush, they are apparently stocking Rainbow Dash on Amazon for cheaper with the usual delivery perks. They their their end oh sorry their end day early from the actual website. Uh, they don't have Twitter, sorry, they don't have Twilight yet, but hopefully soon. Wow, that looks really good. Um, you know what, I am curious. Like, how does this work with me? Um, currently unavailable, we don't know when this... Uh, we don't know when or if this item will... Oh, <laughs> we'll be back in stock. Ah, so basically it's out of stock. I see. Alrighty then. That's this news out of the window. Thanks a lot, Amazon. So yeah, um, I do hope that if you were interested, you bought it um, earlier rather than later. And looking at the design, this is pretty cool. So let's move on to the last news for the week. Major Cineplex in Thailand offering Pinkie Pie popcorn special. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't read Thai. This is very going to be hard for me. <clears throat> anyway, uh, the same cinema that ran a promo popcorn for, sorry, a promo for popcorn bucket during, uh, back during the G Five movie release, has apparently hopped on board with another promo offering this very nice looking Pinkie Pie bundle for a limited time. We've had a lot of mainline merch that doesn't look as good as that uh, as for details hit up this website i will soon the full set includes the pinkie pie bucket with zip lock and 85 ounce popcorn bag and a 144 ounce soda according to the submitter the pop um, sorry, the promo went on the 15th of this month november saying that it started on november 1st but the free soda expired in october it's a mystery so i guess just hope for that pinkie pie soda is boring anyway i do agree with that and this person is service though yes so let's hop into what this okay my little pony okay nya, 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 nya. Oh, god it's all in thai i can't read it I... I don't understand. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> let's take a look, see at the breakdown. So, if you are interested, I'm going to guess that um, you can get the Pinkie Pie and the mug or the soda cup for about 280 baht. That is the local currency there. How much is 280 baht? That is a question. Let's see if my thingy here works no 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 sorry uh yes or if you want to get the combo with 
the popcorn and the soda cup with soda is 320 baht. I'm not 100% sure. I, if anybody understands the Thai language, do let me know. But yeah, uh, that's my interpretation of what we have here. In all honesty, just get this one. This one is much more um, better, I guess, because you get the figure, you get the nice looking um, promotional cup, and you can use it for your own thing. Um, water, probably juice, or some kind of drink that you drink, maybe coffee, iced coffee, that would work. So yeah, um, it looks nice, it's G4, and who doesn't like a nice promotional mug? <laughs> so anyway, that's the news for this week, and I know it's a bit um, slow or lame, but still, um, life gets in the way. But anywho, uh, let's move on to the next topic, and next topic is what have I been doing my week? So, <clears throat> um, I'm trying to remember, because... This week has been rather normal, and that I mean, I haven't been doing much um, work and mostly um, doing the same old, same old. Oh, um, added Magic Gathering to the list again uh, because uh, my LTS is holding a Commander League, and I only play Commander. Uh, one of the few things that um, is going on is that we have some kind of team. Um, this time around is based on elementals. Um, and that what I mean is that uh, we, we are asked or we are mm, nudged to make certain decks that fit certain themes. Um, last week was kind of the white um what was it uh, I, I think the team was air so that encompassed white blue and anything flying so it was a pretty interesting team that week and this week is going to be earth and that encompass things that are green red big and stompy um, another week that I'm personally excited for, and I heard it's going to be on week 5, is light. And I asked my um, tournament uh, TO if I could use um, this one. Oh no, this, this is bad. Yes, okay. Okay, I wonder if you can see. It. Okay, yay. Yeah, um, I asked if I could use a Silver Border Commander, and he asked which one, and I blatantly say, I want Rarity. Rarity's fun. And um, he asked, <laughs> are you going to use it for the first ability? Um, and I told him straight away that I'm going to use both. And if you got, okay, you know what? I'm going to pull a Rarity up. This is one of the fun things. And Okay, rarity. Oh no, why did it became full screen? Oh, <clears throat> hey, um, maybe I can go here. Yay! <clears throat> so, what rarity does is, and I might be boring you guys who don't really play Magic the Gathering, but still, um, <laughs> I do, and I hope you guys can, um, uh, bear with me for a bit. <laughs> But anywho, um, what she does is that um, rare and mythical uh, rare spell cards cost one less to cast. That means uh, any orange symbol or gold symbol um, cards over here will cost one less. And what that means is um, this generic color here, this one, that will be discounted. So, if I were to, for this example, cast a rarity from the hand or whatever it is, and there's a, if there's another rarity on board, I can just cast it for a white and a blue. Um, <clears throat> and honestly speaking, that is a bit 
too overpowered because of the implication of you could cast this card without um just sorry uh, you can cast this card with a huge discount and that's not great in terms of gameplay but um when i say to my to that i'll be using both um the second ability is k1 generic tap the card and reveal a my little pony copyright um toy uh, or i think that's a uh, copyright or original i forgot but anyway um toy you own yes until end of turn another target creature gains protection from each color in that toy's coat main or outfit and by this time already you're probably wondering hmm what pony should i use for this um ability and <clears throat> give me a second oh no oh, there she is obviously Ta -ta -ta -ta! okay i'm gonna switch to the full screen mode okay yay rainbow dash so yay uh <laughs> um this will bypass almost everything so um she has what red blue green um white for her flank with the cutie marks and i'll put on an outfit for her i put on a ribbon to tie on her tail and that's the black <laughs> so yay that's gonna be fun so yeah um I'm, I'm not gonna say what kind of deck that i'm going to build out of this but magic the gathering players probably would guess that it's going to be some rendition of the white and blue color chart uh, or play style um so Fisto did a deck of this on his uh on what on his try um, on a qd once um, a while back and i think i reported on it and yeah um in all honesty it was really fun um it was it was a ton of fun and i do hope that yeah uh, i could at least have fun playing the deck having fun with just trying things out and a lot of other things because the main thing about playing a game is to have fun and make sure everybody else has fun too if you have a different mindset than me i respect that and it's your prerogative <clears throat> So anyway, let's move on to the end. So if you guys have any concerns, um, questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themissionedgmail.com. You could also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, you can oh, sorry, also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on BlendLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review in Discussion podcast on iTunes and Switch Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Doterra, sometimes Silver, reviewing Pony car episodes, comics, specials, movies. And sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. And those could be cartoons, animes, car comic books, mangas, movies, and video games. And yeah, um, I, I know it's a bit lacking in the terms of uh, content nowadays and life has been getting in the way but i'll be trying since um there's a whole bunch of comics that i kind of need to review and read and stuff like yeah there, there's still a bunch there's still a bunch that need something need some attention yes uh, if you'd like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show with every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Uh, talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank the Patreons. I'd like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Mr. Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! <laughs>